TCL's Claxton Bay plant has not been this populated since late February, when hundreds of workers embarked on an historic strike. But immediately after the ongoing wage dispute was referred to the industrial court, workers stormed the TCL compound on Tuesday morning for their first official day back at work. Hundreds of workers sacrificed three months' salary to send a strong message to their company. They have to spend 90 days of sweat, tears and all kinds of things because then it was very emotional to see that you've helped to build a company. And after you build a company, the very people who came lately as managers decided they don't want you there. There was little or no disruption to the company's operations. Trucks arriving for cement were not turned away, and the plant, for the most part, was operating at full capacity. But most of the work was still being done by those whose loyalty was to the company and their own best interest. While TCL allowed workers back onto the compound, it refused them access to the plants. TCL's general manager, Satnarine Bechu, told an informal news conference on Tuesday afternoon that workers would not be allowed to return to the factory lines until they went through an orientation program. Well, they have been off plant and it's very important to refresh because as you realize this is a heavy industrial plant and we need to be refreshing people constantly. This is part of the scheme so like keep people out. Mr. Bechu says workers have officially returned to the company's payroll, but they will not begin to work until the end of the week. He believes it's unfortunate that the matter reached this far. 90 days down the road, what do we have? We have a situation in which there are no winners in a strike. The country has been affected, the construction sector, the economy. We have customers out there who have had to pay higher prices for cement. We have employees who have left more than $24 million in wages and salaries on the table. And of course, the company would have experienced some financial losses over the last 90 days. But be that as it may, we are here today. The matter has been referred to the industrial court, and we shall see how that progresses when it gets there. Those who abandon their striking colleagues have been labeled traitors. Mr. Bechu admits the situation here is tense. The first hearing of this matter has been scheduled for June 1st, but the next six months will see a restructuring exercise taking place. Today marks the final day. The police will be escorting members of staff who did not engage in the action from this compound to a safe point. It's a clear indication that the 90-day strike has come to an end. But from all indications, the battle has just begun. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges.